Hello friends, welcome to our holiday feast video. This is a feast that we made for our friends living celebration. We had our friends John and Jen over and enjoyed a whole feast full of deliciousness. So we'll share a little bit about that in this video. If you like videos like this, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel. We started the night before by doing a little bit of prep. So we made the onion rings for the green bean casserole and we chopped up all of the vegetables for the soup, the stuffing and the green bean casserole. All of the recipes featured in this video, except for the mushroom loaf, can be found in the holiday menu plan that is currently part of the plant-based bundle, available only until November 28th. If you're looking for some holiday recipes, check it out, the link is in the description box below. So in the morning, we got up and started our food prep for the day. We weren't making food all day, every single minute, but we did have timestamps throughout the day to get stuff done so everything was ready for dinner. We started by making the pumpkin pie crust and putting the quiche crust that we blended up last night into its pan. Then we chopped up all of the vegetables for the quiche. And while my friend Jen was doing that, I started to wilt the spinach. And here I'm using red spinach that we got at the Asian market. It's a great one, it's full of flavor. I like it a lot better than the regular classic spinach. I put a mesh tray over top with some forks so that it can wilt without flying around in the dehydrator. And here are onion rings from earlier. Nate went on to build the filling for the pumpkin pie and I made the mushroom loaves. Now this recipe is not available in the holiday menu. It's available in my winter holiday ebook, which is only available on my website right now, not in the plant-based bundle. But I added everything to the food processor and I also added some fresh herbs, some rosemary and thyme. And we had some jalapeno, so we added that to give it a little bit of a kick. Nate also made us smoothies so that we could drink those while we were preparing the rest of the food for the day. Once I blended that, I formed them into mushroom loaves. And once those have been formed, then they will go into the dehydrator and dehydrate for many hours until I need to flip them. Nate was finished the pumpkin pie filling, so he put it into the pumpkin pie crust. We added a little bit of a decoration with some anise stars, and that went into the fridge until dessert time. Then it was time to build the quiche. So Nate had taken the coconut meat out of some young Thai coconuts, built the sauce. We did a little dance while we blended. And once we were finished, we filled the bowl of veggies with the quiche base. Then we mixed it all together. And by the way, it smells absolutely amazing. Then we fill the quiche pan. Spread it out. And again, this is the Christmas quiche recipe, which is available in the holiday menu plan, currently in the plant-based bundle. As of the posting of this video, there's only two days remaining to get your plant-based bundle. We sprinkle it with a little bit of smoked paprika and then put it back into the dehydrator for it to warm up and get a little bit more solid before dinner time. With the remaining quiche filling, we love to make the quiche patties. So we use an ice cream scoop and we just portion out a whole bunch of balls of quiche filling And we use a solid dehydrator tray so that it doesn't stick to the mesh. Then we form them into patties. And add them to the dehydrator with all of the other goodies that we've got going on in there. We will flip these in about two hours along with the mushroom loaf.
While we waited for the next thing to do on our list, Nate put the tablecloth down on the table. And we played a game of cards while we snacked on some pomegranate seeds. Then it was time to make the mushroom gravy. Again, this recipe is also in the holiday menu plan. You can get that, again, link in the description box below. It's part of the plant-based bundle. Along with the recipe for the green bean casserole, we add the mushroom gravy to some green beans, asparagus, some onions, and we top it with the onion rings. This is such a delicious dish. Very, very, very fun to make this one. We will add this as well back to the dehydrator to keep it warm until dinner time with the quiche. The quiche is looking great. Now it's time to flip our mushroom loaves and our quiche cakes. So we just flip those, peel off the solid dehydrator tray and put them back into the dehydrator so that they can dehydrate from the other side. The quiche and the green bean casserole are looking great. Jen went through and de-seeded some pomegranates while I made the cozy stuffing. This recipe is also in the holiday menu plan, which is in the bundle, link in the description box. And then we went on to make the salads. We decided to have two salads tonight. Um, we had leftovers for the next day, of course, because there was so much food. Nate made the sauce for the salads. And I made a tomato sauce to put on top of the mushroom loaves. Then to make them a little bit festive, I sprinkled some dried parsley on top and added a sprig of rosemary for decoration. These are the soup ingredients. So they came from frozen. Uh, we froze them ourselves, not store-bought. And here are the mushroom loaves. They went back into the dehydrator to stay a little bit warm. And here's the sauce for our salads. We put a little bit onto the kale salad to mix that in. We also massaged the kale so it was softer. And we will have the rest of the dressing on the side for the other salad. I added onions, pomegranate seeds, and radish to this salad. The first dish on the table. Then I decided to cut the quiche into pieces so that it was easier to cut after and I put it back into the dehydrator along with the stuffing. Here are the quiche cakes and the mushroom loaves and they're all just sitting in there until dinner time. Here is the big salad that we made, the fresh romaine carrot tomato salad, along with the dressing, the mushroom gravy, and the pomegranate cranberry sauce. Nate put up some garland, and we're just waiting for our friends to arrive. We have our microgreens set up here in case anybody wanted to cut some microgreens to add them to their salads. Even Jai was trying to figure out what was going on. And here is our spread. We took everything out of the dehydrator, plated it up, and smells amazing. This is one of my absolute favorite soups, a lemon asparagus soup, nice and creamy. We've got the mushroom loaves, the green bean casserole, the quiche, our salads, the dressing, the mushroom gravy. We've got it all. Having friends over for friends living was really fun. We had such a blast enjoying all of the food and each other's company. Oh my gosh, this is so epic. I've been like waiting all year. This is the fanciest stuff I've eaten all year, seriously. Oh fancy stuff all your life. <laughs> Look at here. We've got the quiche. Oh my gosh. We've got the mushroom loaf. Lemony hemp asparagus soup. And it's warmed up in the blender.
And then it's time to serve up all the goodies. I started with the quiche, then went on to the mushroom loaf, poured my soup, and then I went for some green bean casserole. Mixed up the salad. Added a little bit to the center of my plate. Added the other salad too. With a little dressing. Followed by some stuffing. The stuffing is really great with the mushroom gravy on top, so of course I put the mushroom gravy on top of my stuffing. Can't forget the cranberry sauce. And there we go. DJ Nate. Thank you so much for joining us for our little holiday feast together. Don't hesitate to check out the plant-based bundle before it's gone. There's only two days left where you can grab some recipes to make a holiday favorite feast for you and your family. Link in description box below. Until the next video, fruit on.